Hello and welcome everyone to today's video. Uh, I'm here joined by the wonderful Jean. Thank you for joining me today, Jean. Hey, always a pleasure. And uh, we've got something special for you because we are going to officially kick off the reveal campaign, the yeah reveal schedule for Claw and Dagger. And that is the card drop uh, coming with 11.4. So next Thursday, actually, this time the patch is a little bit later because of the Easter holiday. So 13th of April is when all of these upcoming cards are going to release and you're going to get your hands on them but obviously we want to share what's coming a little bit early and so everyone's aware of that uh, we've got a reveal schedule article on playgwen.com right now you can go there and check out who's going to reveal which faction and on what date um, and we're going to kick things off so there's a little bit uh, already circulating a little bit of uh, you know leakage uh, <laughs> i think Boja would be would be very happy with you know us spreading some leaks and actually um, the very first uh, card that we're going to show everyone is quite the infamous face coming back to to Gwen so why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce us to what we can expect yeah from. character a very cunning mind right which is actually you know the, the mind behind the birth of the syndicate but you mm -hmm. know there was a time where that man that we know now as Sigur Ruven used to be employed by a state kingdom in the north. In Clo and Dagger, we are going to explore Sigismund Dijkstra times in Redania, as he is in his spies work to prepare your deck against the troubles that are coming. Yeah, I'm personally very happy to see Sigismund Dijkstra back, the DJ, uh, and he is, uh, you know, just glancing over the card right now. Uh, he's human, as we know. He's also an agent and an aristocrat and a four power 12 provision card with the ability which reads the following order play a boosted unit from your deck and while in deck whenever this unit receives a boost from other abilities boost self by the same amount i see the theme yes. of boosts continue so uh jean please give me some insight on how this card is supposed to work exactly so well, you know, he's a very straightforward card, right? You want to boost him when he's in your deck. Mm -hmm. And uh, that way he serves both as a payoff. Um, so, you know, all of these effects that allows you to boost units in your deck, if they land on Sigismund Dijkstra, they're going to double the amount of points. But he's also a support effect, right? As its older effect allows you to tutor potential other units that you've put in your deck which is, you know, more ways to get out of your deck these sweet, sweet points that you've put into it. So yeah, you don't miss out on them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, what's going to matter is the, how the other cards work with them and, you know, kind of promote this game plan of boosting cards in the deck. Yeah, so at four power, it's quite easy to clear them out uh, before he gets to use that order, but, you know, that's why you want to boost him while he's still in your deck, so it's a little bit harder to deal with, potentially. Yeah, I think he will usually be quite a chunker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> quite a chunky boy. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's DJ for everyone. And now uh, we obviously want to pair it with a second card. And that is the Redanian Agent, a, another human agent for power for provision. And uh, this little agent actually has Veil uh, with the order boost a unit in your deck by one with a cooldown of two. So classic engine, I would say. Yeah, a very simple engine, right? Um, but, you know, in this context, uh, obviously you want to use Redinian engines on cards like Sigismund Extra, right? Uh, and not only is it going to allow you to carry over points, but by boosting units uh, in your deck, it, you know, comes... It, it, it comes with other cards like Erland of Larve, and the Lion, which are going to be able to put all of these boots in there. But, you know, obviously, you need to be very careful because when you're putting all of these boosts uh, in your decks, and, well, you're not putting them on the board, right? And you do need to win some rounds. <laughs> so, yeah, in general, this, with this archetype, uh, you're going to be able to be to set up yourself very well for uh, the following rounds. Mm -hmm. You need to be very careful about the rounds that you're currently playing. You know, Germans are usually quite good at, at saving money and not spending it. I'm not very good at that um so you know i would be the person that just plays out all the boosted cards quite quickly 
but I think there's value to you know having something prepared for later rounds. Um, but yeah, maybe for people like me that like to spend all of their stuff, uh, there's actually some interesting cards coming up. But not to spoil anything right here. Uh, yeah, those were the two first cards of the Claw and Dagger card drop. And uh, as we mentioned before, April 13th is when you can get your hands on them. Uh, until then, make sure to check out the reveal schedule um, down below on playgwent.com. And yeah, there you will see all the lovely partners that will reveal uh, their specific cards to the world. And yeah, very happy again for the support of our partners. And of course, you, Jean, for coming on here and explaining and talking about the first two cards that we've revealed. Awesome. See you then, soon, everyone. See you soon.